Hello everybody, Caroline Stanley for Professional Estate Planner. Elf on the shelf. I am so glad that when my son was younger, Elf on the shelf didn't exist um, because I'd be sending myself into a complete frazzle right now, trying to work out a different Elf on the shelf antic every day. There's lots of Christmas traditions and some that I still follow and one that I particularly have for New Year, which involves a piece of coal and a piece of bread and a coin um, that we've all shared between us since we lost mum and dad, uh, but that mum still kept for 30 years after dad died, uh, that's brought into the house on New Year's Day um, to signify the coin for financial stability, the bread for enough food, um, and the coal for warmth for the year. And I still do that now, and it's perhaps a bit silly, and neither of them are here anymore, but they did it from the day that they bought their first house together. And so we've all got a little bit of that now. So that's a very precious tradition and a precious memory for me as well. Um, ultimately, we all create legacies that we pass on to our families and our children. And those legacies, of course, many people think are financial, but lots of them are traditional legacies. So, yeah, it'd be interesting to know if any of you got, have got any legacies that are more traditions than anything else. Um, some people want to make specifics about various bits of things in the letter of wishes. So I see lots of families with various um, things that they want their families to do. So yeah, another interesting one for you all to think about. Take care.